Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM dumpster fire. Today we're back for another top MLM fails video. I have a lot of IG news girls here. Big shout out to all of my channel members. I really appreciate you guys and don't forget that the free way to support my channel is also to like, subscribe, leave commentary down below. Let's just put a little disclaimer in here and let's get into this video. Okay, so the first one is from a Singular rep and she is quite high up in the company and we haven't spoke about Singular in a while and that's the weight loss company. Um, they have a really bad income disclosure statement. I think over 68% or something like that don't earn any money at all. They earn zero on average or something like that. I've made a few videos on them before, so go back and watch those. So let's see what she has to tell us. Uh, we just got back from an amazing trip at Sundance Resort, the Robert Redford Sundance Resort. We were treated like royalty. We got picked up. We got chauffeured around. We got to stay in the most beautiful cabin ever. Um, we met some wonderful people, had some excellent food, and got some wonderful gifts. They just treat us so well. And if this is something you would like or be interested in earning some free trips, I would love to have you join us and it's an amazing lifetime opportunity. This company treats us like no other, and I'm not just saying that. Literally, it pays wonderful, and they just treat us great. So let me know if you are interested. I'd love for you to join our team. You could probably use that extra income, and you can do it right from your phone or laptop at home or anywhere. So come join us come join us please she means well where is the income disclosure statement why didn't you say that also these huns really need to stop recording while they are driving because they're going to end up hurting someone possibly themselves as well that's dangerous please don't do that anymore like why can't you just park on the side somewhere and this was a minute video are you telling me you really couldn't spare a minute being parked somewhere to make this video stop messing around while driving it's reckless and it's dangerous um for you and for the others as well also if you're gonna make income claims like that why don't you show the income disclosure statement by the way i'm gonna link the income disclosure statement for singular down in the description box below but from my memory i can tell you that not a lot of people are on top where they earn these free trips and if they earn a free trips a lot of the times they're not fully paid for so there are gonna be things that you're gonna have to pay for so of course they're gonna treat their top reps as royalty because they earn company a lot of money but more than half of the company's distributors don't get any any kind of money, any kind of profit from the biz. So of course she's not gonna say that though, because who would join if they knew what the actual earnings potential is? Next one is from No Shame Sales Game, and she says, I feel like this one will get shared a lot. So let's take a watch. She needs to hear this, but if you're somebody who thinks you're too cool for network marketing, but you want to be an affiliate marketer, they're the same damn thing. All of it is just an agreement between a larger conglomerate and typically an individual. The larger conglomerate says, we will pay you a commission based on any sales that you make by giving referrals to your audience. More often than not, affiliate marketing agreements pay much less than network marketing agreements. And for the love of all things good and holy, don't f***ing at me with affiliate marketers don't need to recruit in order to make money. Neither do network marketers. You can make money by just selling product. Welcome to the 21st century. Okay, well, for a very successful businesswoman, it's very concerning if she actually thinks that affiliate marketing is the same as multi-level marketing. It is not the same thing. You literally have to sell, make a sale in order to get a commission from that sale. And you also have to recruit. If you want to earn any kind of good money out of MLM, you have more chances of doing so if you are recruiting a team of people. And yes, you don't necessarily have to do it, but you can't earn a big chunk of money with just sales and this is backed up by the FTC by the income disclosure statement as well a big chunk up to 99% of people don't actually earn any kind of money in network marketing so as someone who has been an affiliate before with a very small Instagram account I can vouch that you can earn a lot more money and a lot more benefits like free clothes and things like that if you're an affiliate rather or an ambassador rather than being in a multi-level marketing company that's not going to give you 
you anything. Up to 99% of people in multi-level marketing companies don't make any kind of profit and it's not the same thing as affiliate marketing. It would have been called affiliate marketing if it was the same. It's very concerning for a successful businesswoman, like I said, to not know the difference between affiliate marketing and I would like to think that they're the same thing when clearly they aren't. But anyway, next one's from her as well. And she says, for when trolls and haters say you can't earn any money in network marketing. So this is for us, all the haters out there. <laughs> you can't make real money in network marketing unless you recruit and build a team. First, I would want that person to define what real money is. Um, because is an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month, shit, even two or three hundred dollars a month, Real money? I think so. Because if real money can only be defined as six or seven figures, then I'm willing to bet that that person in your DMs isn't making real money at their traditional office job either. God, her smirks and condescending attitude is so fucking annoying sometimes. Real money. When we say real money, we literally mean any kind of money because like I just said, across all multi-level marketing companies, up to 99% of people never earn any profit. Any profit. So you said a few hundred to a few thousand dollars a month. How many people in any Pick a network marketing company out there and tell me how many people earn that kind of money that you just mentioned, because most of them are not earning anything. Most of them are going into debt. So when we say you can't earn any real money, we literally mean you can't earn any money with it, any profit. There's also a difference between earning money and earning profit out of something. And you as a successful businesswoman probably know that, but you're just playing dumb because your whole business is based on you scamming people, in my opinion. Oh my god, she is so annoying. Anyways, next one is from a body coach and she says, when I encourage my clients to dream so high, they literally have tears of joy. I share my dreams with you in the caption. See, see what I tell you, huh? So her caption then says, here are my dreams when I allow myself to dream without limits, participate in bodybuilding competitions using my workout programs and supplements. I think by that she means body workout programs so far i know that she's just an independent contractor for body aka beach body so that's not her own programs or supplements but maybe she's dreaming about being like a fitness influencer or a bodybuilder one day but girl you're not gonna get there with beach body because beach body is very restrictive and it's almost impossible to build muscle if you're under eating and overworking yourself which is what i personally experienced while i was in beach body i couldn't build any muscle because i wasn't consuming enough calories to build any muscle. Next one, inspiring millions of moms to take better care of themselves so they can take better care of their babies on Instagram and also opening a YouTube channel and Twitch channel. How is taking better, better care of yourself as a mom by being active on Instagram and Twitch and YouTube? I, I don't see... I don't see the connection there, but okay. Helping thousands of moms each month reach their fitness and financial goals while changing the world one life at a time and staying at home with their babies with my programs and products and my team of coaches. See, I thought she wants to have her own fitness program, but when she says my team of coaches, that makes me think like she's talking about Beachbody and being a successful coach in Beachbody, which again, they're not your programs. You're not the one making the programs. You're just an independent contractor for Beachbody. So if you want something like this, you have to go solo. You're not gonna get there with Beachbody. Become a motivational speaker and host my own summit. Again, okay. Sounds a lot like Beachbody. Write fiction and personal development books. Replace the husband's income so we can live our lives at our own pace. Live as a homeowner in a large house with the best sea view. A Maserati. <laughs> we are very humble, aren't we? A yacht we will go on during the weekends to spend time with family and or friends. A ranch to take in farm animals. <laughs> Found my own association to defend peace in the world. We don't really have peace, don't we? A lot of countries are at war. Who am I to judge? These are her dreams, right? Dreams without limits, but considering she's a beach body coach and she is, in my opinion, not successful and she's not high up. She's not really earning a lot of money. This post says, 10 reasons why you should do this. You've already told yourself, I'll start later, but you never started because there's always something stopping you. You're trying to work out on your own, but you're never consistent and you're, you're tired of starting over every two weeks. Your current routine is repetitive and bores you. You're tired of writing your 
your own program without knowing if it will really work. You're doing everything right, but you're not reaching your goals. If you're not reaching your goals, you're not doing it right. You're tired of wasting money or you are impatient because it takes time with fitness. You're tired of wasting money on programs that don't work. You're never satisfied with your body no matter what results you achieve. You're tired of looking in the mirror and obsessively criticizing yourself. You've been wanting to be a part of a positive community where everyone supports and encourages each other and where you finally feel like you belong. You've been watching me for a long time and you've already thought about joining my coaching group but you're afraid to take the plunge and fail. If you find yourself in at least one of the above you should join my coaching program today of course. These workout programs have taught me to appreciate the process without stressing out about reaching my goals which has decoupled my results. Decoupled? What does that mean? The community made me feel like I belonged and for the first time in my life I finally felt safe to be myself without worrying if others would like me and accept me as I am. And bonus, you have me. I will help you build the perfect plan for your lifestyle goals and preferences and support you all the way until you finally reach your goals and even beyond that until you finally feel happy in your body and proud of who you are now without needing to be more or someone else. You have waited and suffered in silence enough day I joined a group like this is the day my life changed. Today can be the day you change your life by joining my group. This is the beach body coach again and she is trying to target a very wide audience. She's saying I will help you build a perfect plan for your lifestyle but she's just going to direct you to a beach body program aka a body program um, that she thinks would fit you best but she has no expertise she has no credibility she's not a fitness coach just because she calls herself a coach a beach body coach she's not credible so she's not in a position to give any kind of fitness advice or nutritional advice to anyone out there that's very reckless and dangerous but anyway next one's another reel from her if you put your mind to it and you work hard and you never give up and you do not listen to the rejection you can achieve anything that life throws your way. I promise you. So when you say yes to scary opportunities, that's when you become who you're meant to become. The mom you want to be, the leader you want to be. That's when you become the person who can make your dreams come true. And that's how you start attracting the life you really want. Then the caption says, oh my god, what if you ditched complaining, playing the victim, blaming your circumstances for who you are, and instead of become the person who attracts circumstances you actually want? What if you didn't let obstacles stop you from achieving what you want? What if you stood back up after every fall and kept going without worrying what others might say? What if you said yes to scary opportunities without fearing fa failure? What if you took responsibility for your life, not to beat yourself up for what you've not created, but to embrace your power to create the life you want? If you knew everyone loved you and no matter what you say, do or whoever you become, you knew they would still love you. Oh, this is so rude. Like, uh, this just made me remember that she's the one that said people who have depression are just using depression as an excuse to not start their MLM biz. And this was a year ago or something that I covered. I made a video about her and her posts, a whole ass video, because her statements, she's not as bad anymore. She used to make really, really problematic statements about like, why would you go to college? You can just do join an MLM. College is a waste of time and money but oh yeah an MLM isn't <laughs> and like I said just depression is actually an excuse it's like not a real thing you're just trying to use it as an excuse to not start the MLM biz which is disgusting and this is also disgusting you are just playing the victim and you should just join this business like okay lady seriously why the hell oh my god I'm not even let's just move on to the next one because this is pissing me off next one is a W fab lady start with Patience. A few years of sacrifice, saving, and mindset shifts can really set you up for the rest of your life. Most of us were not taught in school. It wasn't a conversation in our household or our environment. But now we have access to so much information. We can leverage people who are dominating in the industry and replicate. That is huge. Like I always say, it's not our fault the way that we grew up but it's now our responsibility to do better. You're not doing better by joining an MLM as an independent contractor for the MLM. You are, in my opinion, just scamming people. So next one is kind of the same. 
all about becoming your own boss. It's by far an easy thing to do, but it's so inspiring to see people step into their power, become resilient through their journey, and build a life they love on their own terms. From owning a woman-based spa at 22 and then a woman-based um, event staffing agency, I have always had an intense desire to empower women and mentor them through entrepreneurship. Okay, again, you're not an entrepreneur, you're an independent contractor for iGenius. So if you actually had small businesses before and you ditched all of them to become an MLM scammer, in my opinion, it's just a very sad choice that you made. But maybe that's just my opinion, right? The next one is another W Fab girl. She says, it all happened and was able to manifest it. But what I learned was I needed to be very specific and ask for more. In March 2021, I started journaling and visualizing myself having a yacht boat also be a part of a community filled with successful like-minded women who are all financially mentally fit what the hell does that even mean <laughs> women who collaborate together are happy for your success have some vision goals and desire as myself so it all happened and she was able to manifest it but you need to ask for even more what is with these mlm people and wanting to have a yak boat like it's nice but they're so expensive and i feel like they're such a waste of money you can maybe rent some out but what's the point of owning one unless you're gonna like live in it i really don't see a point of it but yeah i mean way to be humble and have realistic goals wanting to own a yacht <laughs> Both the Beachbody Hunt and this W Fab Hunt as well. Next one is from Dre. Have more money, then you gotta be careful of how you speak about money because the words that you use are seeds. So when you say things like, I don't have enough money or that's expensive, you are literally harvesting that. You're harvesting that that will be expensive for you. Every word is a seed, so be careful of the seeds that you are planting because they will come to harvest. So make sure you're planting the right kinds of seeds. Say things like, money comes to me easily. I am a money magnet. And anytime money leaves me, more money is on its way. And that's that's what we'll harvest for you. Sure, you can say that all you want, but if you are trying to invest and you're failing and you are spending thousands of dollars on memberships in iGenius and other MLMs, you can speak as much as you want and pretend and tell yourself that you're rich and successful, but that's not gonna make you earn more money because you're still not earning any money and the way you speak about it and the way you whatever you tell yourself doesn't matter if you're making bad business and bad investment decisions you're gonna lose money they're big in manifestation and everything else and that's fine if you are as well but you have to be realistic as well and you have to be careful with what you do with your money what you invest it in and you have to reassess every few months to see if it's actually working for you. If you're constantly not getting any money in return, it doesn't matter if you say to yourself, oh, it's gonna happen one day, I'm gonna be, more money is gonna come my way. And then a few months again in the future, nothing is gonna happen still. Cause you saying that you're rich or you're gonna get more money is not actually gonna bring you money. It has nothing to do with that. That's not how that works, okay? If that was how it really worked, I'm pretty sure most of the people on this earth would be very rich and very well off financially. Financial issues would would not be issues anymore for a lot of us. So that's just pure BS, but nothing new, nothing we haven't heard from W Fab Girls before. Uh, I'm gonna wrap that video up here because I'm tired and hungry and I've been recording all morning. So <laughs> let me know down below what you thought about this. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I appreciate you and big shout out to all of my channel members. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support me in a free kind of way. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.